Captain America's shield is his primary offense weapon. It's also one of the most iconic symbols in all of Marvel, both on screen and on the page. When you think of Cap, you imagine him running into battle with the red, white, and blue discs strapped to his back. But what do you really know about his shield? Stick around to find out all the secrets. Why not slide on over to the subscribe button for the CBR channel? One click on the red button means videos delivered to your inbox daily. How's that for service? A rather deadly weapon. It isn't easy to handle. When you're running around pretending to be Steve Rogers, thought out and ready for evil, what do you practice first? You learn all the skills you need to use the shield, you learn how to throw it at your opponent and have it return to you, figure out how to toss it against walls at just the right angles to have it ricochet around the room, how to run in combat and use it as protection. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe on the pages of comic books, Captain America makes it seem so easy. It isn't like his shield is an enchanted weapon like Mjolnir. One does not have to be worthy to pick up the shield as they would to wield Thor's hammer. Just because you don't have to pass some ancient test doesn't mean that any unskilled person can pick up the shield and use it at will. Even if you spend hours practicing as a kid, there's a lot more to it. Yeah, we don't really it's... need to start a conversation. Okay. Cap, Captain? Big fan? Cap is known for being able to toss the shield and it returns to him. The secret to the toss is in the balance. Super Soldier Captain America can accurately use the weapon, while other superheroes can't merely pick it up and toss it without problems. The shield is in a boomerang and it takes a lot of skill and training to use correctly. What do you think? There are variant shields. Close your eyes. Now imagine Captain America. What does he look like to you? What version of his costume do you see him in? What version of his shield do you picture him holding? Now open your eyes. You're probably saying to yourself, what do you mean what version of Cap's shield? There's only one. That is not true. Captain America is often paired with his disc-shaped shield. It has the red and white circles on the perimeter and the blue surrounding the white star in the middle. In the comics, this is known as the Silver Age shield. However, not the only version of this artifact. In fact, there are many shields out there in the world. Some of them are in use or backups, others are kept as mementos. In fact, the shield we described at the beginning of this entry isn't even the original. Steve's first version was made of steel and shaped more like the traditional shield found on the United States of America seal. Rogers keeps that as a part of his personal items. From 1941 to 1949, he had a variant of the Silver Age version, where one circle was blue and another red around the perimeter. Black Panther even gave Cap a version made of Wakandan vibranium. That's the rarest metal on Earth. What you holding there? That's all we've got. So many shields not enough arms to carry them all. Stop. It can be broken. Captain America's shield is a symbol of courage, hope, and all the good in the world. As a symbol, it cannot be broken. People all around the world look up to Captain America and his shield. However, as an actual shield, it does have its limitations. After all, it is man-made. Despite forged from some of the most powerful materials on the planet, it is not indestructible. The shield has taken major hits over the course of its existence. Captain America doesn't shy away from a tough fight with some of the biggest, strongest, and aggressive villains out there. That shield has taken a blow from Thor's hammer. Steve Rogers has gone up against Wolverine's adamantium claws, then use it to protect him from the slashing. In the MCU, at the end of Captain America's Civil War, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Iron Man's repulsors. If it can survive all that, it must never break. The shield can be broken. It has been broken, even though Marvel doesn't want you to know that. Who's broken the shield, you ask? The Beyonder can destroy entire universes, and therefore the shield too. In the 1991 miniseries The Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos broke Cap's shield. Also Molecule Man in the Avengers 215, he disintegrates it, along with other superheroes' artifacts. He's bing bang boom. You're an American hero. Origin story. As fans know, there are marked differences between the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the comic books. While there is a shared overlap in detail and story between both entities, there are often marked differences. In the MCU, the films would have you believe that Cap's first shield is made up entirely of vibranium and invented by Howard Stark. It was made during the war to protect Steve. After he's revived decades later, he needs a new disc. The latter version was invented by Howard's son, Tony, and would also be made of pure vibranium. The MCU would have you believe that this is true story of Cap's shield. However, the comic books have the real often overlooked truth about the origins of the iconic artifact. The shield was invented by the creator of adamantium, Dr. Myron McClain. You know the stuff that Wolverine's claws are coated in. The doctor was a metallurgist working on tank armor. He wasn't even trying to invent Roger's primary weapon at the time. While McClain did use Wakandan vibranium for his experiment, he also included steel and other substances during a test. He then fell asleep and woke up to find all the substance bonded, forming the original shield. Therefore, Cap's shield is a hybrid of materials. Fun fact, the doctor could never replicate this mixture, which led to the invention adamantium. I hear you're uh, kind of attached. 
cracks in the shield. We established in the third entry of this video that Captain America's shield can and has been broken before. It is mighty, but it is not indestructible. Too often the shield is represented as being shiny and like it's brand new, which doesn't seem to make sense because Captain America is using it as protection against attacks all the time. Though surviving a punch by the Incredible Hulk is a pretty amazing accomplishment for protective gear, there are entire superheroes who can't survive a Hulk smash. The image of the glistening shield on Cap's arm is totally false. Marvel's trying to hide from you that the fact that this weapon can look super beat up. During Captain America Civil War, in a rare instance, the shield looks damaged. I believe this is yours, Captain America. During the airport battle scene between each side, the Black Panther attacks Rogers. Black Panther's Wakandan vibranium nails tear into the shield, dragging them down the front side. He leaves three distinct claw marks on the front. It's difficult to reconstruct the shield due to lack of materials. In the comic books, the damage sustained by the shield never seems to last as long as it does in the MCU. After all, it isn't like there's some special towel that buffs out visible damage, so don't be fooled, the disc is not perfect inside or out. Ah, my brothers. Welcome. Can't be manipulated by Magneto. Captain America encounters a spectrum of opponents. He's battled the Incredible Hulk in the comic books. He's gone up against Thanos in the Infinity Gauntlet series. He's even gone up against different Asgardian guards like the Serpent during the Fear Itself series. There almost isn't a villain that Captain America hasn't come up against. That includes crossovers into other titles inside the Marvel comic book universe, such as the X-Men. One of the most powerful mutants in the world is Magneto, and it would stand to reason that he would be able to manipulate Captain America's shield. After all, it's a composite of several different substances. Magneto can control the small metallic traces in a human or enhanced human's bloodstream. He can stop Wolverine in his tracks due to his adamantium skeleton. Didn't the doctor who invented adamantium also create Cap's shield? What's up with that? It is a tightly kept secret that the Master of Magnetism has absolutely no overwhelming effect on Cap's shields. In the few times they've squared off with one another, Eric Leshner has not been able to destroy it. That gives Rogers a huge advantage over the Omega-level mutant. It appears the substances once fused together did not have enough metal in them for Magneto to manipulate. Shields of the future. We know Captain America is over 90 years old, frozen in time after World War II. He wasn't thought out until the modern age. We know Captain America had a shield in the past, back when he first started out. When he resurfaced, he was given a new variation of the original. Okay, so let's turn to the future. Marvel doesn't like to publicize this too much, but Cap's shield has gone to the future. Yeah, that's right. The shield has traveled to alternate realities and had different owners while Rogers stayed put in his own universe and timeline. There have also been futures where Rogers has the shield, but it's looking at attributes are entirely different. In an alternative future, Steve Rogers had a daughter with X-Men member Rogue. Her name is Sarah Rogers and goes by the alias Crusader. Makes sense because, well, her dad was Captain America and all. In alternative futures, both Nathan Dayspring and Guardians of the Galaxy leader Major Victory had the shield at their disposal. In addition, futuristic versions of the shield can vary from the main universe and timeline we're used to. Usually still a disc, the color, design, and properties can vary. Makes us wonder, what do you think about these secret possible shields? Imagine if they found their way to cap today. Others can use the shield too. Don't you dream of one day being able to pick up Captain America's shield and charge into battle? Well, you could make that dream a reality. That is, if you jumped inside a comic book or into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. While Marvel likes to play it off like only Steve Rogers can pick up the mantle of Captain America, there are several other superheroes who have wielded the weapon. Imagine if word got out into the universe that Steve Rogers is not the only superhero who can use the shield. While others might not use it as well as he does, the opportunity to snatch it from him might be too great to pass up. Wonder Man, during a fight with Count Nefaria, took the shield from a strained Rogers and pursued the villain. While Wonder Man had has his own set of abilities, the protective gear was a welcomed additional tool. On several occasions, the one and only James Bucky Barnes has taken up the shield. This has been during those times that Bucky was pretending to be Captain America. Sam Wilson has also done this on occasion while standing in. One of our favorite instances of another superhero using the power of the shield is Hawkeye. You know me. Point and shoot. It could destroy the world. No, Cap Shield hasn't developed any mutant powers. However, due to the events in Secret Wars, there was a period of time when the Shield had enhanced capabilities. Neither Iron Man and Captain America had any inkling of this change until it was already too late. They tried to keep it as secret as possible. If word got out, it could cause major disruptions. During the Secret Wars saga, Beyonder temporarily lost his powers to Doctor Doom. While Beyonder got them back, it sent an energy wave as a side effect. This energy wave gave everyone in the battle world one wish to be granted. Since Rogers 
did not have his shield at the time, he wished to have it returned to him whole. Later, Cap lost the shield over the Atlantic Ocean. It sank to the bottom. It was recovered and dropped on the deck of the ship. It shattered. Investigation found the molecules of the shield altered. The energies released by the vibranium created a shockwave that spread like a vibranium cancer, violently destroying any vibranium it encountered. Feeding off each newly destroyed source of vibranium, the shockwaves reached the Great Vibranium Mount in Wakanda. This could end up resulting in a blast that could destroy the world. You see why Marvel can let this news get out? Thank you, Sherry. Temporarily made of light. It is hard to picture Captain America without his shield, however, it's true. There have been periods throughout his tenure as a superhero that he's gone out empty-handed, literally. It is true he has a couple of backups in case of an emergency. He has the pure vibranium disc, his original shield that he took back from the Smithsonian Museum's display, and a Wakandan version. There is one backup model in particular that sticks out. Marvel doesn't mention this version of the shield often. They don't want people to know about it. The world has gotten even stranger than you already know. At this point, I doubt anything would surprise me. Agent Sharon Carter gave Cap a plasma shield with a flexible containment matrix to him. It was a construction of pure energy created by a device in his glove. It mimicked his disc-shaped shield that could also form other weapons like a bow staff or be fired like an energy blast, then regenerated. This is by far the rarest shield in all of Captain America's arsenal. Eventually, Rogers gave the shield away to the time traveler Primax, but Marvel doesn't like to bring that up either. Imagine if supervillains heard of a shield out there that can not only be Cap's own device, but turn into anything else. Plus, it's worn on the wrist, light, portable, and not easily detected. In the wrong hands, it can be dangerous. Be Captain America, Steve. Jam Captain America down their throats, and at the same time, protect yourself. Well, there you have it. Which one of these secrets was most shocking to learn? Let us know in the comments below. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out more awesome videos from our playlist. And if you liked our video, don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.